Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and first of all, I want to apologize for the lack of videos last week. Um, I, there was just a lot going on, and I needed a break. But I'm back this week with um, not one, but two videos, because this is a holiday weekend. Um, it's going to be Thanksgiving this Thursday here in America, so um, on Thanksgiving, we're going to um, be having a second video. I'm thinking of it as a, as a second helping of um, Nostalgia Mall. So uh, I hope you look forward to that. But today um, we're going to be looking at um, something we don't look at too much on this channel, but it's still um, something that you use quite a bit. All of us do, especially if you're into computers like we are. Keyboards. That's right. Such as this keyboard right here. This is my um, OEM Gateway 2000 keyboard I got earlier this year to go with my uh, Gateway 2000 that you're looking at right now. And while I always loved the look of this keyboard, how retro it looked and how it matches that Gateway, it's not a very um, comfortable keyboard to type on. It's just rubber dome, which really isn't the problem. The problem is this stupid inner key, the way it's the switches are designed. If you hit it the wrong way, of course it doesn't do it now. Okay, there we go. If you hit it the wrong way, it'll get stuck. And that is very, very, very annoying. See, it's stuck right now. It doesn't matter where you touch it, it will get stuck eventually. And that got way too annoying for me. And um, I wasn't just using this keyboard with the Gateway. I had a KVM with the Gateway, my Carolina Flyer Windows 98 machine, my um, Dell Dimension 8200, and the Dell XPS 720. So that keyboard was um, controlling four computers. And it was a keyboard that I needed to use quite a bit, but it was just, I just could not stand that stupid inner key. So um, I decided I wanted to get a better keyboard for this vintage computer setup. And there are a lot of options out there like the uh, Model M. I would love to have another Model M someday, but they are horribly and painfully expensive these days. Unless you're lucky enough to find one at a thrift store, but that's never going to happen. <laughs> and um, I also really like the um, Packard Bell keyboards such as um, this one right here, if you can see it. But um, as nice as the Packard Bell keyboards are, I um, kind of wanted to save these for real Packard Bells because I'm weird like that. <laughs> so um, I wanted just a keyboard that felt good to type on, wasn't, wasn't your basic rubber dome mushy keyboard. But I um, wanted something that was kind of compact as well, because the um, quarters I have right here are very, very cramped. So, um, I talked to a few friends of mine, um, including um, YouTube user Elmo3, who um, is a keyboard aficionado, and he recommended this keyboard for me. This is the Cherry G84-4100 compact keyboard and um, this keyboard um, is special in that it uses Cherry ML mechanical switches and um, as you can see it is extremely tiny in fact let's compare it to the gateway keyboard yeah quite a bit smaller and for a setup like this where I don't have much room to work with, it really, really does the job well. Can't remember if I showed it or not, but this is the um, box it came in. I saved it for the video. This is the uh, Ultra Slim keyboard. This was used when I bought it. It was like $25, $35 on eBay. But um, it was... It feels like it was hardly ever used at all, and so I got a good deal on this. These usually go for a little bit more than $25 or $35. But, um, you can see, um, designed for XP Vista 7. Now, this keyboard, um, 
is the uh, USB model, but it came with a USB to PS2 adapter, which allows me to use it with my PS2 um, KVM switch. So this keyboard works perfectly on all four computers that I have this connected to. I don't want to unplug it, but here's the um, connector and how when what it looks like. Just a simple little PS2 adapter there, so works on either USB or PS2, which is really nice. And also, um, much to my um, dismay, it uses the current Windows logo They've that's been used since Windows 8, but it works just fine. And here's the um, rear label. Pause if you want to read that. Made in the Czech Republic. And I would um, show what the key switches look like, but I don't have a good key puller um, tool or anything like that, and I'm too scared I, I could easily break something on here. So just look up the model number, and I'm sure you'll find a picture of it. And here's pretty much how the entire setup looks now. Um, as you recall, I replaced my CRT monitor with this um, really nice Gateway FPD1510 that I talked about in a previous video. So with the slim keyboard and the slim monitor, um, I've got a lot more breathing room on this desk now, and it's less likely to collapse in on itself and making me very, very unhappy. <laughs> So um, let's go ahead and test out the keyboard and do a little bit of typing on it, shall we? Just got to find a good position for the camera, which may be a little difficult, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're going to be testing this on the uh, Carolina Flyer. This is my uh, main Windows 98 computer. So let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Word. This is um, Word 97. I'm going to find a good typeface here. Okay, there you go. All right, let's give it a test. Okay, uh, a little bit of a bigger typeface will probably be better. Yeah, it feels great to type on, I must say. I will admit there are um, a couple of things about this keyboard that I don't like, but neither of these are deal breakers. Um, big thing is, as you may notice, there's no numpad, which would really be nice um, for um, 10 key operations, which I do from time to time. And the space bar is a little bit on the small side, but again, um, it's not like I'm using this on my main daily driver computer. And um, this keyboard still gets the job done very, very well. And um, I must say, if you're um, looking for a good keyboard that's um, small but, t but feels good to type on and can be compatible with both uh, modern and old computers with USB and PS2, I highly recommend the Cherry G84-4100. So, I guess that's all there is to say about this keyboard. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.
Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.